I'm at a place called Island West in uh, Euclid. Euclid is on the west coast of Vancouver Island. It's a fishing area. In fact, this is a marina. There is my tent. There's the lodge over there. And there's some lost tourists. I, uh, I was forced to come, well, not forced to come. I'm out here alone, five hours drive from home, and uh, didn't bring the van this time. I brought my car. It's uh, got everything I need in it. There's some firewood, a jerry can in case I run out of gas. A whole bunch of cooking utensils. There's a cook stove. I got lots of cans of propane in the trunk, or in the back seat. I got, uh, well, let's see. A cooler full of beer, um, pillows, sleeping bags, propane cylinders, food, bright green crocs, um, more cooking stuff like pots and pans in that box over there. I even got laundry detergent and there's even a laundromat, believe it or not. And I even have, well, some clothes to change into, brought my computer. Got some books to read. I got my flashlight. This is a funky little flashlight. It's uh, the kind of thing where you shake it and it charges it up. Now this is, I even have this here fire pit right here by my tent. So I can maybe set up a chair. Yes, I have a folding chair which I can set up right about here and have the fire going. And there's the tent. And I'm actually in the neighboring parking lot. There's electricity and water hook up here. Oh, nothing could be finer. I've been awake for about, oh, 24 hours now because I worked all night. It was Saturday night and I did well. Uh, it got me some gas money to get out here and um, oh, I'm, I'm excited even though Cindy couldn't come because she had some um, some commitments that she had to uh, take care of and also she was having trouble with her knees and her back and she can't sleep in the van too much anymore. The only bad part of this whole thing was this little turd of dog shit. That little turd of dog shit right there. That's the only part that didn't work out. But look at the view. You got the mountains in the distance. You got a big cedar tree right here. You got the boats. And the seagulls making all kinds of noise. And they even have Wi Fi down at the office. So um, I can actually maybe upload this and uh, show y'all what you're missing, including Peppy Stew. Because if not for him, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Maybe he still showed up, but he was saying he had trouble with his boat. I mean, look, there's all kinds of boats here. Yeah, boat houses. Cool stuff. Okay, I went down to the office to get the lay of the land, figure out where restrooms are, and they have showers even. And I discovered when I was in the office that there is no campsite 13. Over there is a 14 on the log. Here's where I thought 13 was. So I left, I left it open just in case somebody had booked it. But there is no 13. So my tent was over here, which I thought was in 12. But my site is all of this. And that's a flatter spot for my tent. So it's going to work out OK. Place for the car. The only thing is there's no picnic table, but I think I can make do. I can put the cooker on the hood of the car and I can boil some coffee and I can heat up some hot dogs and beans. And This is just beautiful. Nice spot. Well, too bad Pappy Stew is not here to appreciate it. You picked a good one, guy. Yeah. I think I can get used to this for the next four days. Got my 
fire pit. I think I'll have a beer. As always, when you go camping for the first time in the year, you're going to forget a few essential items, such as firewood and can openers. Now I got them. So those are the last couple of things I needed. I had some firewood, but I needed more. And the can opener, well, Cindy told me there was one in the box, but there wasn't, so I had to buy one. Even though I borrowed one from someone else. So, more stuff. What would a Fequig camping video be without a fire? Yeah, now you're talking.